My mind goes blank when I speak in English. Now, this is one problem that I have heard so many times and I just want to say one thing to that, it happens. It used to happen with me and I can totally understand if it happens with you. I have a few ideas to share with you on the video today and I'm sure they are going to help you. There are some amazing tips for you. And if you follow those tips, even if you follow one of those that I am going to tell you about in the video today I am sure you will be far ahead of where you are right now, with this problem of yours. So let's start. My name is, say, John, and we're going to talk about this very common issue of mind going blink, words not coming to mind. So you take pause and your confidence is lost, you are shaky, you are scared, you are hesitant. You don't want to continue. You like, you know, man I'm done. This is just too hard. I don't want to continue. All right, just hear me out. And I will convince you that, that is not supposed to be your approach. Your approach should be of a fighter. Your approach should not be a somebody who is ready to give up on the first obstacle. Okay, just hear me out. I am going to be sharing with you a few tips which I have proposed Elia also in few of my videos, but then some of them are going to be new also. Now the first thing that I want to say over here is that the problem is not your vocabulary. You just need very few words in order to speak properly in English the problem is not with the vocabulary. The problem is with your hesitation of new. The hesitation that you face when you are trying to do something new. Because you're habitual of speaking in your mother tongue. You are not very used to of speaking in English. So there is this hesitation. This is the issue. Then there is another problem. The problem is your habit of the mind to attach itself to the comfort. Your mind is not ready to give up on the comfort zone. That is another problem that you're facing right now. Trust me guys, if you can say something in Hindi you can say it in English also. It does not need too much to speak something in English which you've just spoken in Hindi, you can try yourself. Yer bahat achka lag rahar hai. Kier isko bolner mushkal hai? Is it difficult to say this? This is looking very nice simple. If you can say something in Hindi it was just a very lame. I'm sorry about the lameness of the example, but it just actually occurred to me and I did it. So the thing is I used to think that when I was on the journey of learning English, of learning fluency of English and I used to think this to myself that if I can say something in Hindi, I am 100% sure that I can say that in English also. And that is what I used to actually practice. I used to actually practice that. I used to actually instead of saying something in Hindi I would stop myself and I would say that thing in English and right then you need to correct yourself, right then. Another thing that I would want to say over here is that think of all the benefits that you will receive once you master your English, once you master your communication skills because communication have a lot to do with English these days. You can't deny it that I will never deny that. There is definitely a connection between the communication skills and the command over English and, we can't really deny it. 
So think of all the benefits that may come to you once you start practicing English regularly and start overcoming the problem and the pain that you feel when you are trying to speak in English and the words are coming to your mind. And your mind is actually giving you a lot of trouble and blanking out think of all the benefits just for once think of all the benefits and the light of the gain is going to help you overcome the darkness of the pain and that is what i want to say to you on a very strong note here the gain is so much more than the pain but for the gain to come to you first you will have to handle this pain actually it's not our mother tongue and none of us have it just like that in our blood. No. It never came to me like that. I used to struggle with it every single day and that is how gradually it started to come to me and things started getting easier and that is how they will become easier for you also. I mean after all you are also human being, right? None of us are superhumans. None of us are supernatural. I don't know what to say here. Well, I hope you get my idea, right? I am not Superman. You are not a Superman. You are not a Superman. We are all very normal human beings on the path same, right? It's just that how quickly you walk it. So just walk the path and quickly reach the destination. Why are you delaying? Let's talk about a few techniques. Some of them are magical like one of them speak in front of the mirror. Just shut the door of your room stand in front of a mirror and speak to yourself in English. No matter how much your heart wants to go back to your mother tongue. Do not do that. Okay. There will be moments after one or two sentences where you would want to go back to your mother tongue. Don't know that otherwise what is the point of standing in front of the mirror and speaking? I mean you are not crazy, right? Trying to speak to yourself. There is a reason behind you standing in front of the mirror and talking to yourself. So no matter how much the heart wants do not listen to it. Continue with English, stand in front of the mirror, start speaking on any topic that you choose, any topic. Talk about fruits. Talk about vegetables, talk about some shows you are watching or talk about the movies or maybe some character in the movie or maybe about yourself what your heart wants, your desires, your fantasies whatever, whatever. Topic can be anything. So mirror technique is one of them, then another technique is my technique that I proposed earlier in a video. Where you can put on your earphones and put on some music so that you can't hear yourself speaking and then try and record yourself on a video and start speaking in English. This technique was used by a lot of people and they came back telling me in the comments that, Sir, the technique worked magically for us and I'm improving, it's giving me such great results. So if it is helping them it will help you and it is a proven technique actually adopted by speech therapists in the world. So why not try doing it yourself? So all you have to do is put on the music record yourself on the camera so that you can go back to the recording and hear yourself speaking. And when the music is on you will not be able to listen to yourself your hesitation will be under control. Then another technique would be do not use fancy words your words have to be simple. Absolutely simple. That is one thing that I have said 1000 times and I'm going to keep saying till eternity do not use fancy words keep it very simple. 
Another way that I used to do to practice English was I used to pause the shows if I am watching something on Netflix I would pause the show and I will repeat what the character has just said. So repeat the subtitles actually, speak them out to yourself. Speak them, that is when your mind will get training and your mind will adopt the idea and be familiar with new words. And one last thing that I would say is the most important thing to follow in order to actually work this problem out completely. Is, I will spell it out for you P-R-A-C-T-I-C-E practice, just practice, that's what you got to do. Practice. I mean trying to learn a new language without practicing it is a waste of time. Not me, thousand people say that, million people say that. So, practice is most important, it is most necessary. And remember one thing if it had been easy you would not have wanted it you want it because it was difficult. I'll explain this concept with the help of an example, you know, it's not a matter of good or bad. It's not a matter of good or bad. It is the matter of easy or difficult. Imagine, just just hear me out with an example here. Drinking water is extremely good for your health. You know that right? But do we drink enough water? Do we drink actually enough water in a day? No we don't, because it is easily available. Now imagine yourself in the middle of a desert. You're in the center of a desert you have just half liter of water available with you. And there is scorching heat, too much heat and you just have this much amount of water with you. Now imagine the worth of this water. Will, you even waste one single drop of this water? No you will not. Because now it is difficult, now it is not available. So anything which is not randomly available is something that your heart desperately wants to attain. If it is easily available you would never value it, that is how it is. So there is this quotation that I quoted in in one of my previous videos. And people loved it so much so I'm going to say that again. It's funny. This is the quote by Bob Marley. If she's amazing she won't be easy. If she is easy she won't be amazing, do you agree with me? That is exactly the case with English. I hope this video was helpful if you liked this video, please give it a like and share it with somebody whom you wish to help and I'll be back with another such video very soon, you take care of yourself. But before we say goodbye, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take care.